This video is about Beast Academy. This is Judy Sarden, and I'm following up to my video that I did about Singapore math some time ago. I used Singapore math for several years with my kids, and now that my son is getting in fifth grade, we're thinking ahead to sixth grade, I was looking for something to do post-Singapore primary math. If you are finding this on YouTube, you can click on my written blog post below where I go into great detail about why I'm moving on to Beast Academy after Singapore Math Primary Level 5. Um, so the reason why I really like Beast Academy is first off my son likes it. He likes the comic book aspect to it. I think he finds it more interesting than the Singapore Math books and really the, the way that they lay it out just the visuals of the math program are so different from any other math program that you've ever seen. So that's one of the aspects that he likes about it. I like it because it's more challenging. He has gone through Singapore math from kindergarten. He's now in fifth grade. And I don't know that he's found it really challenging. He can, you know, half the time he can look through the workbook and figure out how to work the problems without even going through the lesson. So with Beast Academy, he really is having to read the guidebook, and then there are several challenge problems in the workbook, which he's having to really think, and I really like the fact that this math is forcing him to think, and it's not just memorize a couple of algorithms or a couple of different ways to do it. He really has to think outside of the box. So Beast Academy is the younger version of art of problem solving and I was really looking at art of problem solving moving into sixth grade their pre-algebra so that he can get into algebra when he gets into seventh grade and uh, while I was on the art of problem solving site I stumbled upon Beast Academy which is made by the same company and Beast Academy is right now that they have levels three four and five so roughly grades three four and five they recommend that you start with a grade lower than where you are, and I can see why they do that because it is, it's is—it's a very different way of thinking, the way that they present the problems. It's really geared towards kids who are going to be going out for math teams, and so they go into a lot more depth in the process, and they also have a lot of shortcuts to help you figure out pretty complex math problems very quickly and um, lots of mental math but also the math is logical and again it really does make you think so the way that Beast Academy is set up you have four books for each year so well each level has four books each book will cover three to four topics for Beast Academy level three you have the A book that covers shapes, skip counting, perimeter, and area. You have to order the guide book as well as the workbook to go with that. The workbook is called a practice book. The guide book is essentially the textbook. Um, for, the, for the second level, you have the B level, which is which covers multiplication, perfect squares, and distributive property. For the third book, covers variables, division, measurement, and then the fourth book covers fractions, estimation, and area. Now, a lot of these topics um, that are covered in the third, in the level three book, were actually covered in the Singapore level four book. So, it doesn't track on your. It doesn't track a typical school year. It does not track. It won't track with other math programs. So you have to be comfortable with that. I went through the Singapore math scope and sequence and compared it with levels three, four, and five, and was comfortable that it that Beast Academy does cover everything that Singapore covers, except for pie charts, histograms, things like that. And I can always pick that up. He's got apps on his iPad, Splash Math, and some other things that we can pick up those sorts of things. So I felt like, as far as math is concerned, and to really get my son prepared for pre-algebra, Beast Academy does an excellent job. So what you do is the Beast Academy book will go on for several pages where the they're usually 
monsters in a classroom and they have a teacher who's explaining a math concept to them. And then after you go on for a few pages, they will assign you s several pages in the workbook. And then you work through the workbook on those pages and then you pick up where you left off in the guidebook. There is also additional teaching in the workbook. They'll work a couple of examples and it's really cumulative. So if you didn't want your kid to do every problem, that would probably be okay. But what I found is I tried to skip around when we first started doing it, but the concepts build on each other. And so I found that when I skipped around, I may have missed um, some of the workbook teaching that I should have read before. And um, so I would recommend that you just work through the problems. I typically assign my son 10 problems a day if it's not work that is requiring a lot of thinking. I typically don't assign more than that because the work is a bit more challenging than Singapore. I could, he could cover seven pages in a Singapore math book, uh, but with multiple, multiple problems, but I would not assign that many in the Beast Academy book. So he moves through it a little slower than Singapore, but that's okay. I think that you could easily cover books A, B, C, and D in a school year. It's not, it's not that slow. And if, especially if you're schooling year round, I think you could easily cover at least a book and a half or maybe two year, two book, two levels in a year, just depending on where your son, where your child is. Another thing that I like about Beast Academy are the solutions in the back of the book. So the answers to all the problems are in the back of the book and they are not just answers. They are fully worked out, fully explained solutions. So even if you are not that mathy of a parent, I think you could still implement it because with the guidebook explanations, the examples that are in the practice book, as well as with the detailed explanations that are in the solutions section in the back, I think that you could easily correct or explain a math concept. I think only once I've had to enlist uh, my husband in helping me work through that, but I, I'm pretty good at math, so it's it's really not that difficult. So that's one of the other things I like about it. Also, uh, the other thing about Beast Academy is, like I said, it does prepare kids for pre-algebra. So if your child is on a pre-algebra and algebra track, I think it's a really good uh, way to go. Also, if your kid is in school and you're looking at supplementing, if your child, say, for example, is having difficulty in fractions, you could just buy the book that covers fractions and that would be plenty. You would not have to buy the whole series. And that's the other thing. Um, for in order to buy all four books as all four guidebooks and all four practice books, it's, it'll run you roughly $120 and that includes tax. So I don't find it any more expensive than Singapore. In fact, it's a little less expensive with Singapore. And because I also don't have to buy, I don't feel like I have to buy any supplements with it. I feel like it's a really robust program. I plan on using levels three, four, and five, getting through them. I hope to have, get through them by the middle of uh, my son's sixth grade year. And then maybe by the middle of sixth grade year, moving into seventh grade, we can roll into pre-algebra as I do want him into algebra by eighth grade. And it's a great program. So if you are interested in Beast Academy, I have a link below. You can click on that link and it'll take you to the Beast Academy website. You can look at the different levels. And if you have, if there are any homeschool conferences in your area, I recommend that you go there. I'm speaking at the great homeschool conventions. And so I come by and see me, come by my booth and see me and um, go onto my website and check it out and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, my mailing list and um, publishing a book about how to homeschool. So um, anyway, just uh, follow me if you can. And that's it. Beast Academy, great program.